hello there. I'm here today to talk to you about Fach. So no, that's not a curse word for those of you that aren't in the classical music world. Just really quickly, all it is is a German classification system that classifies different voice types. This is mostly for opera roles, um, and it's based on factors like range, which is how high and low you sing, and tessitura, which is where your voice most comfortably lies. Um, you might have heard of the four major fachs, which are soprano, um, typically the highest female voice, mezzo-soprano, the low female voice, tenor, the high male voice, and um, baritone bass, the low male voice. So I wanna to talk to you a little bit about um, my journey and things I've learned about Fach. So you might, um, some of you, a lot of you guys already know that I started out as a soprano and was a soprano until quite recently, and now I am a mezzo-soprano. Um, so I started out as a light lyric soprano. I'd been singing that all of my life. And um, I started studying with a new teacher and she was one of the first ones to mention that perhaps I was a different voice type. Perhaps I was a mezzo-soprano. I had noticed that my voice was getting a lot fuller, a lot richer, um, and my range was changing. It was it was shifting down, and um, that's really where my voice was filling out. So um, I, I heard her, but I, I didn't really um, heed her words because that just seemed like a ridiculous switch to make um, in my 30s. So I continued to sing um, different gigs and I continued to take auditions. And I started hearing after these auditions and after these gigs, different people would come up to me and ask me if I was a mezzo-soprano. And this was the first time I was really hearing this, but I started hearing it from multiple people. And so I started to take notice. Um, as I continued to sing soprano repertoire, I noticed too that I was becoming really nervous. I started suffering from extreme anxiety and having panic attacks. Um, but there was a real, it felt very uncomfortable, but there was also a real fear of switching fox. I was afraid of what people would think of me because um, I had been singing um, soprano for the past 30 years, so I didn't want people thinking that I didn't know what I was doing, especially since I was just starting my, my doctorate. I should know things by now, right? And, um, and also I didn't want people to think that I was giving up, switching from a higher to a lower fach. Um, so I asked my teacher if she was okay with me taking sample lessons with um, different coaches and teachers that I trusted just to get kind of some second opinions and thankfully she said yes and so I did take some lessons and um, everyone unanimously agreed that mezzo-soprano would be a good fit for me. It was really surprising um, but as I started to think about it, it made a lot of sense. Mezzo-sopranos typically sing um, what are called pants roles, which are roles um, for women, written for women, but they're male ro roles. They're played, uh, th these women play young men and young boys. And I'm quite tall and I'm also on the less curvy side, so those kind of roles make a lot of sense for me. I, as so a soprano, a lot of times I was supposed to be the lover of a tenor and he was a lot of times shorter than me. So that, in a physical sense, made a lot of sense um, for me to switch over to mezzo-soprano. So I ended up taking the leap, I put my insecurities aside, and I switched to mezzo-soprano. And so since then, um, I have really enjoyed this repertoire. It speaks to me a lot more, I connect with it a lot more, um, and practicing is now a source of joy and not a source of stress or anxiety. Also, as I'm teaching now, I have a vast knowledge of both the soprano and the mezzo-soprano repertoire. Um, and I've continued to get roles even after making the switch. I'm now getting mezzo-soprano roles and I'm starting to place higher in competitions, which definitely was not happen as happening as a soprano. So all of that to say, um, I'm just here to say, you be you. If you feel like um, there's something you need to do, a risk you need to take, um, it's really important to do that. And um, listen to people um, that you respect, your colleagues, your teachers, um, and but also you have to listen to yourself. And um, Fach, for instance, is a construct, right? It's made up. We made it up. It's a classification system. And so there were all of these insecurities that, that I was struggling with switching, but really it's all made up. So it's, it's been really freeing for me to realize that. Um, and I've learned a lot these past two years since I switched to mezzo-soprano. And I just wanna encourage you to um, listen to yourself and um, listen to what makes you feel like you.